<laughs> but it's that guy got his top off. But I, I dislike Man United. <laughs> Not I think, I think everyone does, to be honest. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back Fulham away. I don't know what it is about Fulham but it just seems to be Newcastle's favourite team to play. We always seem to get one over in the last four times we've actually been to the stadium being able to, to beat Fulham in the last five matches we've played. Newcastle's also won those games. So coming into this when Newcastle are desperate to pick up three points. It's kind of the team we want to play but as we saw midweek against Everton any team on their given day can take points off us and Fulham, if we do not switch on today, this is a team that can 100% beat us. They're a good side and we cannot take them for granted. However, I said before the West Ham game, next three matches has to be minimum seven points. We've got four, we've dropped two straight ones against Everton. We have to win today and I think it's still been a good week despite the disappointing game on Tuesday. Newcastle have got to get these results in now. We haven't got many games left, so we've got to pick up the points at some point. Tottenham, next game, hardest game left. So we've got to make sure in the matches where we are on paper, supposed to win, we've got to actually win these games now. No longer can we just drop these stupid points that I've been doing all season long. But let me take you back actually to Thursday night when I had a chance to say goodbye to someone. Hey, John O'Hare from Norman, Oklahoma. Just came up here for two matches. Uh, went to the West Ham match, was wild chaos. It was great, it was one of the best matches I've seen. And then we went to Everton and, you know, um, it was a good match too, it really was. I was surprised because we got a couple injuries in the West Ham match. That carries over, of course, to the Everton match, because it was only three days later. And uh, I was a bit concerned going into that one, but we managed to get a draw course it's not the way you like a draw you'd rather they score first and we come back and then it looks like we accomplished something but um but i mean they were both enjoyable we had a lot of fun and uh, as you know there were 20 or 25 americans over there so it made for a really good week so i'm currently recording this video now guys on the thursday night so john's actually heading back on the friday so we're going to see the premier league festival at the weekend of course we are here for the fulham match but i just want to start off john before we talk about the fulham game just how was your time in newcastle how were the newcastle fans treating you were you treating you with a lot of respect oh you know it's great it's always great uh, everybody's wonderful in newcastle um, i i love them all and i try to be friendly with everybody and they they really do show a lot of love to me so I enjoy it every time, and a lot of Americans do too. Yeah. We always have this conversation off camera. I just want to see on the camera as well. Uh, obviously, people such as yourself, Johnny, you come across here, yeah, you, you put more into the American fans, the amount of fans that are meeting up, Americans just trying to trying to make everyone feel welcome. I think it's always a lovely thing to see, especially someone how you, you're a tired man, you come across, you enjoy yourself. And I just thought it was, uh, thought it was really nice to actually. Uh, to show your support for everyone and uh, I think the support you get it back you, you feel it yourself so I just want to say obviously thank you so much for helping connect this fan base across no. the world it's great I really appreciate it like when I go in the US I'll go to other places to watch a game I've been to San Diego Dallas Baltimore Atlanta um, Philadelphia uh, all of them are great and we have a unique fan base it's you know here we are in London and you know everybody's welcoming us today we had about 20 people here you know including a couple of americans so uh, yeah it's a unique fan base and we're very connected and that's what i love about it and finally john i'll ask you for your thoughts on the fulham match how do you see this game going ah you know we handled them pretty good the last time so i'm hoping we can win and i would say 2-1 but uh, again we're depleted i don't know how hall is i don't know if he's back yet but I'm just going to say 2 1. I'm just going to hope that we can pull one out. Just about to head inside the stadium now. For those of you who aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure I get down there and do so. I'm going to be going to every single Newcastle game, and that includes Australia next month. So stick around so you don't miss the content. 
But for any Fulham fans that are watching as well, I just wanted to say actually I've got a lot of respect for these guys. I love coming down to Craven Cottage. It's just the, the historic thing. It's quite unique for a football stadium to see something like that. So I enjoy coming down here. It's a great way and great atmosphere. But let's head inside now, speak to some fans, and let's just soak in what is going to be a huge game for Newcastle. I'm John Sinclair TV. Hi, Alan. Peter, PD Prowlock. Listen, lads, big match against Fulham today. How do we see this one going? We'll start with you, John. Uh, it's going to be a tricky one today, Adam, and um, you know, I'm looking forward to this game because um, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough game, it's a tricky game. Uh, if Newcastle played like we did against West Ham, they'll probably win this game. And Grazza. if we, if we um, play, if we play well against them, um, Everton over there was just that silly penalty giveaway, but I fully expect to win the day. Now, Peter, I was here earlier this season for the FA Cup game we're going to Fulham in a match where it was kind of back and forth in the game itself, yeah, it but the Castle just had those chances, they took those chances, and I'm feeling kind of the same today. What are you yeah, thought? Yeah, it could be. If we get the goal, we need to build on that. That's what we need to do because we give silly goals away at the moment. So just look to build on that if we go 1 0 up, which is what we need to do. I think we should have enough to win the game today, but it's not going to be easy. But... Now, a stat actually, I think Newcastle's only kept one clean sheet in the Premier League since the calendar year started. So, it's, obviously, we've got a terrible defensive record you need yeah. to clear out. But finally, lads, before we get in there, just give us a score prediction. 2-1 to Newcastle. 2-0 Newcastle. Get it cleared. Oh my days. Oh my. What are we doing here? The divide gets down again, so that's not looking good for us. Come on. Ah, uh, that's, no, that's actually our best chance of the entire game so far. Come on. Back out for the second half, I tell you what, that was for the worst 45 I've seen this season. I think Fulham been so poor on that final field. Any of our team Newcastle will be losing at the minute, we just haven't turned up at all. But yeah, it need to be much better now. Oh, yeah. Good Gordon. Oh, oh. look, you good save. Oh. Honestly, that seems the story of this game. Gordon's doing all the bloody work in the... Oh, how has Murphy not got that ball? Go on, seconds, we'll have a seconds here. Good idea. Brilliant. Oh, how would we not take that? Well, I don't think we deserve that, but I definitely, definitely will say yes to that. All the Fulham fans, absolutely no noise from them. Yeah, no, in all honesty, um, in, a, in their point of view, how they're not winning the game, I'll never know. Castle haven't been playing well, but it's about getting results at this point in the season, and we're doing it today, and exactly the goal I wanted. E-I-E-I-O 
when, when did I ever stick by it? I never ever stick by it. Why is that guy got his top off? <laughs> Someone's got his top off or I disallow a goal. But the Fulham fans get the last laugh there, but I mean, I just don't think anyone will be laughing at the end of the game and finishes no no. For example, I always celebrate that you put them in until later you, you score again. But uh, I think it got to be fair the last 10 minutes or so, I've been much better. I know I've been saying earlier this hasn't been anywhere good enough, but uh, I think we had started to get into the game more. I think we need to blow it now. Go on. Disappointing for them, their point of view definitely should have got a result from that. The cast have done what we needed to, we're very happy at that. Like 
Hopefully get a couple of players back for Tottenham next week. We, knew, we do need to play better when the, the game's all level, but Barnes today, sub came on, Gordon going on the right hand side. It just it just works. You guys were able to finally pick them off despite a disallowed goal. I'm a punish you guys second, but oh, well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Huge, huge result. I subscribe to you on YouTube. Well, thank you so much. What do you What do you think about Adam? Big 1-0 win. Bruno with the winner. I'm hoping to get into Europe, but I haven't seen. I'm hoping to get into Europe and home something to eat instead of belly. But I haven't seen all the days for so, so far. That was a vital three points. Because I've seen man, 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 you and Chelsea, four mm -hmm. three, yes. and Chelsea just hated. But I, I dislike man United. <laughs> Not I think, I think everyone does, to be honest. Yeah. But I went to their League Cup game in November. That was great. But I'm hoping to finish above Chelsea and qualify for. European football, you wait the conference, you wait the you wait the you won't believe and all the Champions League is out. Yeah, we still potentially get something like the Conference League, but um, just just finally as well, you were saying you were part of the Castle like Disables Committee, so you wanna try and uh, tell people about that. Um see not not long ago last year. Not long ago, they had the Easter socials. Easter socials. Last September, they had the 25th anniversary. Okay. But 25th anniversary last year, I think a couple of years ago. I, I can't remember. So the 25th anniversary, okay, but. No, I, I, I taught you off camera anyway, lad, but obviously at some point we'll, we'll try and get in touch with the disabled committee and we'll try and uh, promote it a bit I more. I know Stephen, Stephen Miller runs it. And Ron, Stephen Miller runs it. And they have a web, website. Okay. But obviously, I would, my best advice is I would speak, speak to them and okay. say you come across. You can hear it, you can see it in the background, chanting for Bruno and chanting for those players. They deserved that today because that was a hard fought win against a good Fulham side. We were quite poor at Fulham in terms of actually taking chances, but they created quite a lot. And I thought, especially out wide, Fulham looked quite dangerous. I went through the centre, it was just poor. You got some thought for that. And it's not about how you play, it's about getting that end result. Three big points this season in a game where at times you see against Everton earlier in the week we dropped the points, we've got to make sure we get these points and we've done it today. Deserve that brilliant, brilliant result. Seven points I said at the start of the week. Has to be seven in these three games, we've got exactly that. Should have been the full nine, but listen, you take seven still. Still a good week for us. Tottenham big game next. I feel like we've got to get a draw in the game. Uh, you still want to get points in essentially every game now to the end of the season, which I know against Tottenham is going to be a hard game. But I have to get the points somewhere, so I've still got to keep doing them. But big, big three points. Hard away game. Fifth time in a row we've won a full away. Sixth win in a row we've won. They'll never get one over us and never do it. 
It's our favourite team to play for a reason. Brilliant idea. Buzzing with that one. Fantastic performance.